Hello and welcome to Hank Games About Hank. As you can see, AFC Wimbledon today taking on the franchise currently plying its trade in Milton Keynes. Uh, it's a big game for us. There's no getting around it. This is a huge League One matchup. It's huge on every level. Uh, the MK franchise currently uh, in third in League One. AFC Wimbledon currently in first, but only by two points. So we go out of the uh, automatic promotion places if we don't win this game. Um, actually, we don't because we're up by four. But it's it, it, it will be one. M MK would be one point away from us. It, it, and then there's the fact that we haven't scored a goal in 17 games. Uh, Asiosi manager and uh, just absolutely after the loss in the Cheka trade trophy against Sheffield United, I've never seen that level uh, of filth come out of one human being's mouth. The, the disgust, the anger. Um, I think more than anything, what got me was a feeling that uh, they gave up. Um, this is unrealistic, by the way. Uh, I, I, uh, by the way, if you're wondering why Milton Keynes is wearing white, it's because uh, that's the color of cowards and, um, and surrender. Asiosi manager is definitely feeling the pressure. I mean, this is one of the longest scoreless droughts in the history of, of not just AFC Wimbledon, but in the history of uh, football. So it's a difficult time. There's no getting around it. And this is a massive, massive game. I can already feel us being lifted up by uh, here uh, at Kingstonian, uh, or at Kings Meadow, sorry, by the uh, song, Where Were You, Where Were You, Where Were You When You Were Us? Um, and uh, uh, the song that you hear the most when AFC Wimbledon play Milton Keynes, um, Darren, Darren Deadman is our referee. That's, that's an unfortunate surname. Um, the song you hear most, uh, you know who you are, you know who you are, you franchise bastards. You know who you are. Here we go. Uh, no, no getting around the stress level. Uh, we are feeling it. Um, I'm sure that our opponents are feeling it. And I will say there have been a lot of comments. I know that there's a widespread frustration with the quality of play right now. Believe me, I share that frustration. Um, however, uh, we're going to keep going because we believe that we can get good enough to compete at this skill level. Um, I, I, I reminded the boys uh, before the game that uh, that this is not a normal matchup. It it does not. It means oh god, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's a great ball. It's a real. Oh my god! I, again, premature celebration. Again, I, I prematurely celebrated. It was a really good save by their by their goalkeeper. And I've got an injury. Meredith, we've got an injury situation, unfortunately. Oh, my God, it's Lyle Taylor. Oh, sweet holy Lord. <sighs> John Green is away on international duty. Other John Green has a broken leg. Now we got to bring on England's greatest lyric poet, T.S. Eliot, who has not had a good season. As frustrating times and scary times for the Wimbly Womblies as uh, our once deep bench is suddenly extremely thin. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we've, we've got to believe in ourselves. Uh, I, what I reminded the boys of before the game is that this is, uh, this is a game that should not exist. This is a rivalry that should not be because there should be no third tier English soccer team in Milton Keynes unless they did what we did, which was work our way up, uh, through the league system, uh, through the, through the non-league tiers. Uh, and build uh, the kind of um, club that, that is really a part of its community rather than a franchise currently playing inside of a community. Uh, and I reminded them that, uh, that this game is being played not just uh, for the fans who are in the crowd, but for, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, but for all the, shoot, Wimbly Womblies, did you notice that I actually used the X button in a moment of actual desperation? Um, all the Wimbly Womblies who came before, all the players um, who, you know, worked often for extremely low wages um, in, in the ninth, in the combined counties league, the, oh boy. Oh man, we probably, I probably should have just hit the X button there, but we've got Shay LaBeouf, so everything worked out better than expected. Um... 
and that uh, that yeah, this is oh my god, I, this play is so terrible. It's so frustrating to watch somebody not have a good enough first touch to be able to pass the ball. Uh, we've got to get some better players. That that was that was annoying, but it's going to be okay. That was that was Buckminster Fuller, who is a good player with a really really bad uh, FIFA haircut. Um, and we've got to believe we've got to we've got to rate ourselves is what I was telling them. Like, yes, we are going through the hardest time that we've ever been through as a club, but we're going through it together. We're going to stay in it together and we're going to figure this out. We are currently losing this game. There is no two ways about it. Uh, anyway, I've read all the comments. I know that that lots of people feel like we should change. Oh, it's frustrating not to be able to pass the ball. Lots of people feel like we should change uh, formations. I'm going to look to do that in the second half. It just seems very risky to change formations, especially given that I'm already not, I'm, I'm already not good at this one this one uh, way of doing things. The thought of like not being good at oh god, just needed a little more on that ball. Thought of not being good at a different way of doing things is not, not that not that exciting to me right now, especially in a game that matters this much. On the other hand, um, you know, obviously we are losing. Oh God, they've hit the post. And then, okay. All right. Now we've got a chance to break. We've got a chance to break. Hold up and go. Yes. Good. 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 Don't be afraid to foul me. That's good. Oh, it's a wonderful finish! Have we actually finally scored a goal? Did it happen? It's Welpdale! Of all people, Welpdale! From no, out of nowhere! All this time, probably, we should have been relying more on Welpdale. Welpdale with a wonderful take and a beautiful finish. And oh my god, it's 1-0 AFC Wimbledon. The Milton Keynes franchise has hit the post on seven separate occasions. We've been passing out of the back much to the infuri. Yes, Sociasi manager relieved that his team talk finally did some go good. We have scored a goal. It's Welpdale. 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 You, you became a legend today, my friend. Your name will be sung uh, for years to come. Okay. All right. Welpdale. 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 I don't really have a good Welpdale song yet. I'm working on it. Um, uh... Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I, I feel a s huge surge of adrenaline running through my body right now as it's finally happened. Welpdale with the goal that we needed. Okay, that's good. That's not bad. Get there. Oh, T.S. Eliot, England's greatest lyric poet, wanted that really badly uh, because we really... I don't want to say that we need to win this game because it's early in the season. We're first in League One. Like, there's, you know, it's it, it it's not like it's not a must-win situation. Of course, there's no must-win situations at this point in the in the league campaign. But there's been it's been so frustrating not to score, and also obviously there's the 15 years of horror and frustration that that this club was made to go through by the very people who are sitting in the owner's box. Uh, right now for Milton Keynes. So uh, this is a difficult... It, there's, no, there's no getting around the fact that it's a difficult game. But we have done the thing that we have failed to do for like 17 consecutive games, which is score. Uh, and that is, for me at least, a huge relief. We're going to make one halftime substitution just to bring on some slightly fresher legs in the form of Frankenstein. He's a talented man with a really full head of hair, which is something that I, I value a lot in a right midfielder. And I also feel like the golden child, he's just, he, was been a, he was a little tired the whole first half. And, you know, we don't have a lot of depth in central midfield, but I think that Frankenstein can do the job. That's a good ball. That's a pretty good ball. It almost worked out. But Milton Keynes has cleared. So at halftime, uh, what I said to the boys was just this, you know, this is the moment that we've been playing for and waiting for and an opportunity the likes of which uh, you no, no Wimbledon team before you has had because we've never, uh, you know, because this is the first time we've been in the same league as, as MK. And even though we've played them in other competitions, this is, uh, this is different because this is for the league. That's good. That's good. T.S. Eliot, he's big and strong, but he wasn't big and strong enough. Ah, uh, tried 17 times to make the same pass and it didn't work. Uh, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Charles is slightly out of position. A little bit of confusion in the back for the Wimbly Womblies. Nervous times. <sighs> Come on, boys. Come on, boys. You can do this. Yes. That's good. That's good. Wait for it. 
Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Go. 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 You've got the legs. You've got the legs. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't hang with you. He could hang with you. I thought you had the. I thought. I thought we might have had the uh, sprint speed we needed to get past in that situation. But we don't have a lot of speed on our flank right now, which is part of the problem. That because I only have the one way of playing FIFA, and it's the run really fast down the sides with your fast, super fast players way, and we just don't have super fast players at the moment. So that's one of the things that we're going to look to pick up maybe in the January transfer window. That's good. That's that. That's a nice interception by Mr. Parrot. Go. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh. Oh. I've been maligned. Come on. Where's the foul? He's infuriated. He's refusing to get up because he's so mad. And I don't blame him. I'm also mad. It's a really bad call by dead man. Our referee for the day. Never trust a dead man to referee a game. Uh-oh. 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 It means he's struggling to keep up. But the, the cross is wanting. All right, big breath. I think we've got two substitutions left, and we have some very tired players. Unfortunately, Barcham is exhausted, which is unfortunate because we have no backup to Barcham, but we're going to put Kelly there because he's he's good in that place, and then we are out of substitution, so we cannot take off Parrot. So I apologize, Parrot. I, you, you seem a little tired, but um, I'm going to ask you to make it through the last 18 minutes of the match. I could not possibly have foreseen that 18th-minute injury. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have brought on Frankenstein at halftime, though. There's an argument to be made there. But that's an argument for the, uh, uh, the, for the scholars who will one day write about my FIFA playing. Okay, that's a good ball. That's a nice over-the-top pass. Um, and then, but he's not super fast, so he's going to have to do that. It's really good! Oh! It was cut out in the end. Okay. Let's go up this flank this time. Let's see, what's, let's see if we can have some luck over here. We can! We can! Oh, he's open! Oh, it's a little too deep. That was a good pass, though. Way to, way to keep possession, and then we immediately lose possession. Okay, patience, patient build up. Really good defense there. That's some vintage Wimbly Wombly stuff. We're 10 minutes from glory, friends. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. 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 That was bad. We made, a, we made an error. Mistakes have been made. Uh, er there were errors in judgment. There's concern, but... We're passing out of the back. We're passing out of the back. Oh, that almost worked. That almost worked, but it didn't. I appreciate, though. I mean, you got to say, our players are working really hard. They're making tons of runs. They're, uh, they're fighting for every, every inch when it comes to defense. Um, and I appreciate that. And that ball is wide. Thank God my whole life just flashed in front of my eyes. And then we're just going to pass it out here. Yep. And then there, yep, and then there, yep, and then, oh, this is brilliant. This is, mm, that wasn't as good. That's great, though. And then that's good. And that's pretty good. Oh, what a save. What a save from the Milton Keynes goalkeeper at a critical juncture. In stoppage time, we've got one last chance to score. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Get there. Get there. Get though, it's cleared off the line. Unbelievable scenes. Oh, it's a terrible finish. But is that the game? Yes. 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 We have won a game of football, ladies and gentlemen. And not just any game of football. Some would argue the game of football. The game we most wanted to win this season. Our home uh, game against the franchise currently plying its trade in Milton Keynes. They hit the post. They hit the post again. They hit the crossbar. But what they didn't do is score. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Huge congratulations and thank you to Welpdale. Um, a scholar and a gentleman, fantastic game. Uh, Shea LaBeouf, brilliant job. Uh, I've, I've got some criticisms for the players, but that's that's for another day. Right now, uh, just just joy, just pure unadulterated joy. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.